All right, man, plan B. Earlier, I had mentioned that I was gonna do some temp work through the spring and summer, and then come fall semester, get back into school and recertify and get into something more serious, like uh, maybe get into being an x-ray technician or get my comp TIA and go into IT and computer technician stuff. Plan B. I'm gonna take that college money that I saved up and what savings I've got, and I'm gonna go ahead and just GTFO. Get the fuck out. I'm gonna take that money, and I'm gonna buy some boondock land out someplace real cheap, and uh, get me a second-hand camper and put on it. Given how inflation and stuff is going right now, I feel that would be a better option for saving money than having it in the bank regardless uh, but yeah there's been some stuff that's happened today that i'm not going to get into that that's convinced me that there's no way that i can uh go back to stay here and go back to school and manage a school schedule and work schedule and stuff there's just no way long story short my uncle is a sociopath narcissistic personality disorder he's not right in the head and my grandmother is enabling this and a bunch of other stuff it's funny that my friend uh, mr. Hess and myself we were just talking about the video game uh, that came out uh, V rising which is a new vampire game and they got me to thinking about the actual lore of the vampire and that's like what's going on here. As much as I hate to say it, Grandma keeps inviting them in, and I'm not going. I don't have to stay around for it. That's the thing. I'm leaving her to the wolves. She's got this. She is delusional. She has got this Mary Antoinette, let them eat cake mindset. Um, she's got this Southern Belle antebellum mindset and she, she's literally just enabling this stuff so I'm not gonna put up with it anymore I'm not gonna stick around I said this uh, last spring I said this last spring and then all the medical emergency stuff happened with grandfather etc and I did stick around uh, because nobody else would would come by and help so I'm, I'm just I'm done I'm done. I'm not going to shepherd anymore. It's going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm not going to look back. I'm leaving her to the wolves. I'm not going to school. I'll, I'll go. It's, if I have to go work at Amazon or Walmart for the rest of my life, instead of having to put up with this crap for the rest of my life, I'll go do that. I'll go work. Uh, uh, I'll keep doing grunt work. You know what I'm saying? I'll keep doing grunt work. In fact, I've been doing the delivery driving doing pretty good with that i don't know if it's just beginner's luck um but i'm thinking maybe get about a year's worth of experience uh might try out for my cdls or something i know my cousin used to be a truck driver he says that's a terrible job but i might give it a try uh but i'm definitely not staying here this is this is mm -hmm, last straw today i'll talk about it you know, like I said, I'm trying not to be on the negative Nancy thing, but it is literally like the stuff that's been going on here. It's so persistent. Um, I don't know if it's just baby boomers need to get a life or there's like some Truman Show bullshit or Stephen King is uh, bullcrap going on, but it almost the, the crap that's going on here almost feels demonic. I'll flat out say it. Like I said, my friend talking about vampires and stuff earlier. I'm like, man, these are parasites. They fucking bloodsuckers. And it's like all the people that complain are the people that do jack shit nothing, you know. That, that's what's really bothering me. All the people that are complaining and throwing off and, and running their mouths and just making life hell for no reason other than to make life hell they're the ones that actually don't contribute or do anything they're the ones mooching and leeching you know what i'm saying so i'm done with it i'm not taking it anymore um 
and this is the thing. My grandmother enabling a lot of this. She's on top. She she is delusional. She's got this weird empty nest syndrome going on with my uncle. So my uncle is like hiding behind his mommy's coattails and getting away with murder. Basically, is what he's doing. And then there's a lot of other stuff going on. Maybe at another date, later down the road, once I get out of here and I can talk about it more freely, I will. Um, I've got some stuff on video. I mean, I think proof's in the pudding on that, but let me put it this way. For me to be uprooted, um, for those that actually know me, for me to be uprooted, it's got to be pretty bad. For me to, 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 to get up and say, okay, I can't even take this myself anymore, it's got to be pretty bad. Um... I'd rather go live off in the boondocks. I've been looking at boondocks. Uh, come into June, I'm going to work through June into June. I'm going to start hardcore uh, like driving around looking at places. Uh, unfortunately, truck broke down again, so i got to make a little bit of money back, but it is what it is. Got that motorcycle in the background there. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, with all this hyperinflation and the way stuff's going, I might be getting back on a motorcycle uh, next year. If the truck keeps breaking down and things don't start looking up, I'm going to be back on a bike. That's for sure, just to save money. I can save about 300 a month. On if all that out of the way, I'm going to try to keep on a positive note. I've got some video coming up of when I cleaned out the old trailer up on the hill. Because that was initially, I mean, the, for you guys to see how serious I am about this, I have some video I'm about to post, a time lapse, kind of, or just a walkthrough, before and after, of uh, cleaning the trailer out. I'm going to upload that on a schedule. First of June, I think, is when it's scheduled. Stay tuned for that. But that, that kind of shows, you know, how serious I am getting about this, because initially... I was going to go just back up to my old place, uh, but it's too far gone, and people following me up there, essentially, and just all sorts of other stuff. I, I actually had the full, like, I'm just going to show the before and after here in June. Come October, I've got a whole full series of me cleaning out that place and puking everything else because it was so nasty up there. Uh... So stay tuned for that. But yeah, today, May the 27th, 2024, final nail in the coffin, straw that broke the camel's back, Jimmy Boy. Remember that, Jimmy Boy. The guy, that, well, no, I'll go ahead and tell you, if you made it to the end of the video, one of the other things on top of what my uncle's doing, the guy, get this, all right, if you made it to the end of the video, congratula congratulations. All right, get this. I'll put this at the end. Earlier, there was a guy that was coming around. I mentioned this, but I deleted the video. I just left it up long enough for uh, family and friends to see. Earlier, there was a guy coming around trying to scam Grandma, and he was scamming her for thousands of dollars and trying to get her to write blank checks and get into her bank account and stuff. And she's sitting there, she's timid, and she's telling me, I don't know if I really want to. I don't. And I finally voiced up because I'm sitting out there when all this is happening. And, you know, he's coming around like a handyman. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. And he's not able to do jack shit, basically, because I went on strike. I went on strike after what Rush was doing. And I stopped doing a lot of this stuff. So that's how this whole situation came about because of, of Rush giving me such a hard time and, and me stopping doing stuff and telling him to do it. They wanted to hire these interlopers and they picked up just some random meth head off the street, basically, as far as I'm concerned about the guy's personality. I'm trying to get her to write blank checks and stuff, right? When she won't write blank checks, he gets mad, starts making threats and throwing a little shit hissy fit because he can't pay his car payments because she won't give him the money now his money supply is being cut off right charging her like a grand to pressure wash a house charging her five grand to paint a porch stuff like that 
didn't even paint the porch. Took him two years to paint a porch. All right, he'd come around, just sit around and, and take money. None of my uncles said a word to him. If me and Steve, for example, one of my cousins or something would come around and, and bun $10 in gas money, they'd be all hell raised. This guy's taking thousands of dollars. Heck, my uncle's taking tens of thousands of dollars from her. He's got a bank account in his name and her name with like 30K in it, you know what I'm saying? Yet they wanna talk shit. So she, this guy, this guy gets mad, starts making threats cause she won't give him, you know, access to her bank accounts. Like she's given access to my uncles and stuff. Tell him to take a hike, not to come back. Well, about a month passes. I guess his money's ran out and he's, he's, he's calling up trying to sneak and worm back after making threats and stuff and, and doing all that other shady shit. And I tell her, I said, man, you can't, you can't do that. I said, he's already threatened to kill me and you know, he's trying to steal your money and everything else. I said, you can't do that. I, this is my house, I can do what I want. I'm like, okay, well, I'm out. You, you can have him, you, you can have it. I ain't dealing with that. I ain't gonna catch another charge. I ain't gonna risk some guy jacked up on drugs coming into the house acting like he's a handyman, having to watch him because he's five finger discount and everything. No, nah, no, nah. I'm done. It's bad enough having to deal with the dog arf 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 and uh, the uncle situation. But like I said, she's got that Mary Antoinette, let them eat cake mindset. And I can't shepherd her anymore. I can't I can't keep an eye on her anymore. Nobody else in the family's going to, so rip grandma is all I can say. I'm just I'm 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 out of here. I've got most of my stuff ebayed off. I've got a few larger items that I want to get sold off, but most of the stuff I've got now, like my old computers, uh, electronics you know, equipment, things that I would have had to gotten mini storage for if I hadn't kept. I've got most of that sold off. Um, the majority of the things that I have now, I can fit in like a safe deposit box or, you know, in the trunk of my car. Well, I wouldn't keep it in the trunk of my car, but I can carry everything that I own now pretty much in two briefcases or two suitcases and a backpack. And whatever I've got left over, I can pretty much fit in like a, a storage locker at the bank. Uh, I've got you know, some trading cards and stuff that I'm still selling off, which will take me forever to sell off because I've got so many of them, but uh, I can keep those in the bank while well, I've got those in the bank right now even. Come June, I'm on the, like right now, I'm sort of doing the online Zillow uh, thing where you just browse around online, trying to recover from the truck repairs because I had a thousand dollar truck repair. I had like three flat tires. That's what I'm talking about, like, like the weird Stephen King crap. I had like three flat, flat tires in one month. Finally, I got so fed up, I just replaced the tires and wheels. Uh, but that put me back a thousand uh, a thousand bucks because those ain't cheap. Um, but yeah, I'm already searching right now and looking at places in my price range. And come, like I said, I'm going to just hunker down, try to hunker down till the end of June, try to be smart and not emotional about it. And uh, then the end of June, I'm gonna start talking to uh, real estate agents and getting the deal done and kind of staying on the same schedule. I don't want to make a schedule or a plan because every time I do, it's, it, it never sticks. But I'm hoping come fall, like I was going to go to school for fall semester. I'm hoping by the, you know, that's about three months from now. I'm hoping I've got a place and I'm set up. Because what I'm going to do, find some like half an acre of land or less than half an acre of land out in the boondocks someplace get a little pull camper, second hand pull camper, hook it to that Ford freaking Ranger and just go. 
just trailer trash it right on out of here. And uh, I think then grandmother's going to realize the hard way, you know, that I told you so. But it is what it is. I mean, I knew this was going to happen before I got stuck back here. I knew I didn't want to come back here. I tried to make the, you know, lemons into lemonade and was making the best out of a, a bad situation. And then my uncle just, he literally came out of left field and made the situation 10 times worse. It's almost like a game to them. Like my uncle is, like I said, a sociopath of sorts and my grandmother is getting off on this. And um, yeah, it got me to thinking about traditional folklore and vampires and stuff and how you're not supposed to let them in. Well, grandmother is enabling this crap and she's gonna keep enabling this crap, so I'm just gonna get the fuck out and uh, leave her to the wolves and let her find out the hard way. Cause it's not just my uncle. And that's like I said, some Truman Show, Stephen King vampiric, almost demonic. I'll flat out say it. it's almost like some supernatural demonic bullshit is going on.